Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Natalie. Today I have for you a spring lookbook. I wanted to share a couple of my favorite outfits for spring and also just some of the spring trends that are coming up. Today's video is sponsored by 10 Free and I am so excited to share their spring collection because it goes hand to hand with my outfits. They came out with six beautiful shades, which I have been obsessed with, and it's just getting me into the spring and summer mood and vibe, especially with how brutal this winter was. I am just so excited about these bright, fun colors. I've shared 10 free nail polishes here on my channel before. They're vegan, cruelty-free, non-toxic, and plant-based, which is amazing. They also have amazing benefits for your nails overall. I've been using them for about for three to four months now and I've just been loving how my nails have been looking lately. They look and feel a lot healthier and stronger overall. They also help your nails grow healthier as well. The ingredients on their products are so amazing overall. They are from plant extract, they have peptides and vitamins, so they do make your nails grow healthier and look healthier as well. And on top of being so good for your nails, their nail colors are so beautiful and this spring collection is honestly my favorite. Before I share the colors, I do want to share some of my favorite essentials for an at-home mani. You guys know that I personally love doing an at-home mani. So I have here their sugar polish remover, which is 100% plant-based. This thing is amazing. It removes your nail polish and also leaves your nails feeling moisturized. Like it adds a nice moisture to your nails afterwards because nail polish remover normally always leaves my nails feeling brittle and dry and this doesn't do that. So I have been loving their sugar nail polish remover which is also acetone free. And then to remove my cuticles, I've been using their lemon cuticle remover which is 100% vegan. It also has aloe which I feel like it's what softens your cuticles and it's easier to remove your cuticles and then the top you can like push your cuticles back so you can cut it that way. But this is another one that honestly has left my nail feeling a lot healthier as well and then to top off my nail polish after painting my nails I like going with the rose cuticle oil which again has amazing benefits it's an intense moisture and 100% vegan as well so for nail polish I wanted to start off with their base and top coat I absolutely love them I feel like this is what has helped my nails feel and look stronger it is their base coat which has prepped with peptides and it just leaves your nails prepped for the nail polish and then it has peptides which is amazing and then the top coat leaves a beautiful shiny coat and also helps your nail polish last a lot longer now these are the nail polishes from their spring collection starting with this beautiful blue shade which is the one that i have on right now it's called hanging with my peeps the names are to die for but this one is a stunning light baby blue and it's so pigmented all of their nail polishes are so pigmented they also have this beautiful peachy tone which i feel like it's perfect for easter and spring overall and it's called everything is peachy there's two beautiful pink shades in their spring collection starting with this light one which is in full bloom i use this one as well for my valentine's nails i just love the shade of pink and then this darker one or brighter one better said called be happy which is so so cute this green one is another favorite of mine because it's a unique green in my nail polish collection and it's called hey bud how's it growing <laughs> super cute and last but not least is this stunning yellow shade which to me screams spring and it's the one that i have been using the most honestly just because it's such a happy color and it's a stunning pale yellow and it's called oopsie daisy so yeah that's pretty much the entire collection i'm going to be linking them down below for you guys in case you want to go and shop i also have a 20 percent discount code that you guys can use every time at checkout just use natalie muñoz x3 and you'll get 20 percent off and another great news i am hosting a giveaway currently on my channel so make sure to check that out and you can enter to win their spring collection so yeah now with that being said let's get started with some of my favorite spring outfits all right so for the first outfit i think this is going to be a great either dress up or dress down kind of outfit i have these trousers from express i feel like they have really nice trousers from express so i'll link a few down below and then i paired it with a white button down a white button down is a perfect basic to have in your collection 
So I decided to put these two together and I think it's a really nice look. You can dress down this look with just wearing flats and it'll still look presentable. Uh, but I'm going to be wearing these pumps and my nude new bag, which I'm obsessed with. Alright, and just like that, this outfit I think is going to be a nice transition from winter to spring. I just absolutely love the way that it looks. Alright, so the second outfit is a little bit on the sexier side, especially because of the skirt. But this color is super in for the spring and summer, which is a beautiful sage light green color. For shoes, I'm going to be wearing these nice sandals, uh, like chunky sandals, which are also really in right now. Let me put these on. And then I'll wear this like slouchy bag and call it a look. But yeah, like I mentioned, this skirt is very on the sexy side, especially since the slit is so up high. It's from Forever 21. I have so long without shopping there and I actually found some really cute pieces. So this one is one of them. They have another one without the crazy slit, which I might go get. But whenever you wear something sexy on the bottom, make sure to wear something more closed up on the top so you can balance it out. And vice versa, if you have a showy top, I would recommend to get a more conservative bottom. But I do like how this look came out. So yeah, the bag is from Primark, top is from Pretty Little Thing, which also works great as a cover-up because it's a button-down, like an oversized button-down. And the skirt is from Forever 21. Shoes are express. All right, next outfit is a suit, a matching suit, which is this beautiful coral peachy suit. The blazer and pants are from Boohoo, and then the white top is just a regular razorback um, cami from Amazon, which comes like in a pack of three with different colors. I absolutely love these crop tops because I feel like I can pair it with everything and it just makes an outfit work whenever you need like a basic. And then I'm going to just be wearing these flats. And again, my slouchy bag from Primark. The flats, by the way, are from Target and I absolutely love these flats. I also have them in black. But yeah, this is another cute, colorful look for the spring and summer. This also does a really nice contrast with the nail polish, like the beautiful blue shade. And Ten Free actually has a beautiful peachy tone from their spring collection, which would pair really nicely as well. But I love the pop. All right, so the next item I'm going to style are these wide jeans that are so trendy right now. These are the Zara jeans, which first of all, I love how long these are. Unfortunately, they don't fit me like extra long for me to wear heels with them, but I do love the length and the material of these. The only negative thing I have to say about it is that it's not as flattering in the back, which I'll show you guys once I put it on, so. All right, so this is what it looks like. If you're wondering, you do have to size up on these Zara jeans and I got a size six. So that's what the back looks like, which kind of, you know, makes your bum disappear. But I do love the wide legged jeans for the spring and summer. I think this is going to look so cute as you can tell. <laughs> they don't fit me so long because I'm too tall. You can obviously style these jeans so many different ways, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing. So just with a regular white cami, I think it looks nice as is. You can also add a nice belt if you want. I have these sandals that I got from Saks of Fifth, which I think are so perfect for the spring and summer. Oh God. But yeah, since I can't technically wear heels with these, I think these shoes really dress them up. I'm going to style it next with this beautiful top that I got from Forever 21. It's just a crop top sweater with a collar. And that's what it looks like on, which I really like. It also comes in different colors as well. And then for your hair, a half up 
could go really nicely as well. And then for my purse, I'm going to be going with this beautiful blue one that I recently got and basically make it a monochromatic look which is really in right now and the bag actually matches my nails perfectly as well. Next to style these jeans, I'm going to go in with this beautiful turtleneck from Italic, I think you pronounce it. That's where the bag is from as well, which I'll link down below for you guys. This is a beautiful cashmere sweater and this is what it looks like with the turtleneck tucked in and the monochromatic bag matching nails, jeans, top. But yeah, I really love this look. One last thing I want to style with these Zara jeans is this beautiful sage green top, which is a bodysuit, obviously. This is what it looks like on, and it comes in different colors. It has some really nice puffy sleeves detail. This was only $20, and it's new from their spring collection. So I really like it paired with the wide legged jeans. I would style this top with a nude bag and these sandals that I got from Saks of Fifth. But that's what it looks like up close. Really, really love it. All right, now I have a new pair of jeans. These are obviously skinny jeans with a rip on them. I Again, these are my favorite jeans to wear. I'm a millennial, sue me. Just kidding, don't. But um, yeah, these jeans are from Saks of Fifth. I recently got them. I'm back at it again with my button down, the white one, because I wanted to style this vest. So vests, I'm not sure if they're like still in for the springtime, I believe they are. I really wanted to style this vest because it's been pretty in, but honestly, I feel like it's just not part of my style. But I'm going to style it anyways and see if it works. It is from Princess Polly. They have many different vests. So let's see if I look like the cool kids or if I just look like a weirdo. All right, honestly, I don't know if this is my style, but let's just, let's just play pretend, right? I also have these sneakers from Saks of Fifth, which I recently got and share with you guys. It's from Steven, New York. So these are really comfortable. And last but not least, of course, my nude bag. But yeah, this is like a really casual outfit. Let me know what you guys think or if there's like any other way that I can style this. I've also seen these vests styled with skirts, but you know, I just don't think it goes with me. All right, a little bit more my style. This I've mentioned in a vlog recently when I shared my Saks of Fifth order, but this top is so, so stunning. I'm going to link it down below, of course, like everything else. This is what it looks like. I think you could definitely dress up or down this top or entire outfit, honestly. You can wear it with some heels, but I have some sneakers on right now. And I'm going to add a pop of color with the red touch. It's also a really nice contrast with the nail polish. But yeah, that's what this outfit looks like. I think it's a really cute casual one. I would go for a bike ride on this or a picnic or just a casual stroll. All right, so that was pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found some inspirational pieces to wear for the spring and summer. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite outfit. Don't forget to check out 10 Freeze nail polishes and take advantage of my 20% discount code by using Natalie Munoz X3. Everything's going to be linked down below, so make sure to check that out. And until next time, bye.